Hey guys, so in this video, I wanted to show you how to add an extension, specifically how to add Grammarly to your computer so it can help you um, make edits to your writing. So to be able to add an extension, you're going to have to go to the right corner of your screen and you're going to look for that little puzzle piece. And when you put your mouse over it, it's going to say extensions. And if you click that, you're going to get options. It's going to show you the extensions you have then it's also going to show you what you don't have access to. But in this case, I actually want you to go to the last thing that says manage extensions. A new window is going to open and then it's going to show you all the stuff you have installed. So you are banned from trying to add certain extensions. So if you try to add a game, um, you're probably not going to have luck doing it. So we're just going to go ahead and do the one thing that I do want to show you. So to be able to add an extension, you need to go to the stacked pancake for the extensions window, which is right here in the left hand screen. You're going to click it and then you're going to go all the way down to where it says open Chrome Web Store. And that is going to take you to yet another window. And this is the store where you can actually add extensions. Now, like I said, you're going to see stuff that you probably want to add that you're not going to be able to add. And if you try to add it, it's going to let the district um, office know and you're going to get a phone call from somebody which you don't want but in this case we actually want Grammarly which is right here and I'm going to click that and you can see right here it says add to Chromebook so I am going to go ahead and go add to Chromebook it's then going to give you this window that says it's what it can tell you to that it does and it's like it reads and changes all your data on your website that you visit and then it's going to give you the option to cancel add or to add extension and we want to add the extension and you'll see that it's downloading. It'll take a second or two. And once it downloads, it will let you know that it is downloaded. And this is taking a second. And now that it's complete, you can click that and it'll show you in the folder. And then it's gonna show you that it has been added to the right side of your screen. And if you click that, which we're gonna do, it's gonna take you to the settings for it in a different window. And I'm gonna start closing these windows out. I don't want to be busy, busy. So it says to sign up and create a free account. Well, obviously, you're not going to use your email because you can sign up with Google. And anytime you have the option to sign up with Google on a school Chromebook, please do it. So it is loading slow. But once it does, you're going to want to sign in with your Google account, which is the center button. Let's see if we can click it. It's not letting us click it yet. So once that loads, you're going to click sign in with Google and let me do it. And I'm going to click my Panama Buena Vista email. It's going very slow. I apologize, but patience is a virtue. And it's loading again, super slow. But once it loads, it's going to give you all the notifications to add it and it says start writing oh and it looked like it kicked us out oh there we go okay cool cool so obviously you're using this for school so you're going to click the school button you're going to go to continue and then you want to just list that what you're going to be using this for well specifically spelling and grammar i also want you to click plagiarism and even sound fluent but if you think you need more of those, you can. But those are the three that I want you to click. You're going to click continue. And then I want help identifying when I sound. You want to make sure you sound friendly, informative. And then I would say neutral, but I think these two are enough. Click continue. You're going to select your language, which is English. Continue again. And it says take your writing from good to start. Well, obviously, you guys want the free one. So you're going to go to continue for free. Eventually, if you guys want, you can pay for it. But I don't recommend you do that on a school account. You can do that on a personal Chromebook with a personal account. And then it's again loading. And it's processing our items that we selected. And then it shows you how to do this. So you can do the quick tour. I'm going to go ahead and skip it. And then you guys should be able to access it through Google Docs. And I am running out of time, and I will probably show you how to do that. But for now, that is how you add Grammarly to your Chromebook as an extension. And I hope you guys are able to do that. Let me know if you need help.